All right, thank you, Rebecca. Now, since the abortion amendment recount is moving forward, the effort to recoup the cost is still underway. Our Capitol Bureau spoke with the man who actually funded the majority of this recount. At 27 News, Capitol Bureau reporter Denisha Richard is live in downtown Topeka. Denisha, how many credit cards are being used to make this happen? Well, he says about seven different cards are being used to help make this recount happen. He even says he put his house on the line, but that didn't go through. So instead, he did use the cards. Now, Mark Geetson, that's his name, he says that he does hope to get that money back, however, through a crowdfunding initiative. He says that that only raised about one third of the cost, however, around $47,000 at last check. Now, that recount was meant for the whole state, but he says that they hit quite the snag early on after getting a message from the Kansas Secretary of State's office. They called me back and they said uh, they don't want a bond, they want cash on the barrel head. So that's why we couldn't do the whole state. Uh, so we only had enough for eight counties, but it's the eight largest counties. Now, take a look at this. We also reached back out to the Value Them Both Coalition. If you can remember, they raised millions of dollars in the campaign leading up to the primary. Well, they said they did not and they do not plan on donating to that recount fund. They said in part that they are not looking back to August 2nd. Reporting live from the Kansas State Capitol, I'm Denisha Richard. David McKenzie. All right, thank you, Denisha. Right. Yeah, we appreciate the update.